Happy Halloween, guys! On this special episode of Checkpoint, we have obviously dressed up for the occasion. I am Ashley from Until Dawn, PS4 game. And Dalton, your outfit is uh, it's very nice. Uh, what do you think I am? Uh, a carpet? Uh, no, you're far from it. What are you? I'm... I'm... John C. Remember Outlast, one of the many survival games that released a while ago? Well, for whatever reason, it is now getting a sequel next fall. Uh, the announced trailer dropped yesterday, and all we can see is a burning inverted cross in the middle of a cornfield, it looks like. So I'm glad we're jumping straight into the satanic imagery on this one. There's also a spooky-sounding narrator quoting from the Book of Revelation, which further drives home the whole southern hellfire and damnation vibe, which is cons interesting considering that the last entry was set in an asylum. It has also been confirmed that the night vision video camera mechanic will return, but the rest of the game has been wrapped in a veil of secrecy. How exciting! I loved that game. Did you like that game? I could care less about that game. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> well, something that is interesting, Bethesda, if you know anything about Bethesda, then you know the mod community is probably the biggest thing to come out of their games from the community itself. Unless you're a console player, then you really only get half the game. But anyway, fans of Fallout 4 have been asking for news on the Creation Kit, which is a tool that comes with their games, such as Skyrim, in order for customers to create their own mods and share them with others. It's basically the same tool they use in their studio. They have explained that it won't be coming out with the game this November, but don't freak out because they did announce that the creation kit will be added sometime in early 2016 for the PC players. Wait, does that mean there's no console player love? Well, luckily some of the mods will come out for PlayStation 4 and you Xbox lovers. Yes! Good sign. Uh, so Julie, out of curiosity, uh, what's your favorite Sonic game made within the last decade? Sonic Dreams Collection. Yeah, trick question. There hasn't been a decent Sonic game in the last decade. Ooh, but what about... No. Mm, but what Never about... happened. Oh, oh, okay. And apparently uh, Sega has the same mentality that I do because Sega Europe's marketing director John Rook has stated that it's been tough translating that iconic side-scrolling 2D experience from the 90s into 3D, but Sonic is still huge for us, so the new games will be more inspired by how it plays in its heyday. That's, that's true. However, the numbers were quite high for the mobile game Sonic Dash, which received about over 100 million downloads. And I'm personally a fan of the Sonic Boom animated series. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> that's awful. Why do you openly admit that you like that show? It's, it's ironically You're like funny. a degenerate now. I'm so sorry. Please don't fire me, <laughs> boss. So, you know, Julie, it's our special, I guess, Halloween episode. So what better way to end it with a glorious Halloween joke? Ooh, do you have one? I have one. All right, let me set the mood here. Oh, okay. All right. So, Julie, what's the difference between John Cena and a ghost? What's the difference? You can't see them. Well, that wraps up our show for tonight. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and BiteBSU.com. Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs>